when there was no one to find. This is a day I will never forget. When I woke up that morning I was in high spirits because I felt so well. I had a good night's sleep and I had many pleasant activities planned for the day. I planned to have fun like I had never had in a long while. I had saved up a lifetime to allow me a visit to the spa that day for a good massage, followed by lunch by the pool at Golden Tulip and a movie at the West Hills Mall, all by myself. I am also a person. I had had enough of Keeble and their troubles. I made a move to open bedroom door, and then something struck me. The lights were out. I checked my phone, which I had put on charge the night before and it was just 2% charged. I had not heard any of the normal sounds that I am used to when I wake up. No sound of car engines, no words from my talkative mum and the annoying chatter of our co-tenants had been absent. I began to panic. What is going on? Has the rapture occurred? Oh no, maybe I am dead and now a ghost. I could hear and feel my heart pounding as if it wanted to come out of my chest. I slowly opened my bedroom door expecting to see my mom sitting in her usual corner from where she issued her irritating orders every morning. She was not there. Asa! I shouted, calling out to my little sister. Silence! Kojo! No answer came. I was frantic, as I rushed to open the door that led to the compound. I so wanted to see one of our co-tenants. Any of them, even Sister Aquel, the one I hated most meddling in my affairs constantly. There were no human beings on the compound. Wait a minute, maybe it the people I detest that have been taken away, let me call my friend, Lame Izzy. The mountain number you have called cannot be reached at this moment, came the familiar refrain. I tried to call another friend but my phone just went off, out of charge. I rushed onto the street as tears began to roll down my cheeks. I was confused and fear was written all over in my face. The streets were empty of people. Vehicles were on the roads but there were no people. I began to scream on top of my voice. Where is everybody e e e e e e e e Is this some kind of joke? I then began an M desperation to at least see if there were even animals around. Where is that ugly dog full of sores that I hated to see? Not even a chicken was visible. I walked into a corner shop on our street which is our area shop right always stocked with all that we need. It was open, the goods were there but no people. The milk, sausage, yogurt, chocolate and all the nice foods I loved but could never afford as much as I wanted smiled at me, beckoning me to come have them for free, because there was no one owning them. Everything I saw was virtually mine for the taking. I was alone. But alas, my appetite was gone. I felt like dying. Eating was the last thing on my mind. How do I get to somewhere I can find people? I began to run down the street. I could not recall when I last ran, but I was energized by my fear so I did run. Looking everywhere for at least one person to prove to me that I was not dreaming, but hell could find no one. I kept screaming as I ran and listened attentively for any sounds of people or even animals but the silence was so loud. Even the tree branches were still. I decided that maybe if I moved to a place farther away I may find people. I came across nice cars, SUVs, Mercedes-Benz, Hyundai Accent and the nice cars I always wanted to ride in. Indeed most of them were open and they had their car keys and their ignitions. But I did not know how to drive, so I kept running in hope. As I ran on desperately I suddenly came across a big hole and I was unable to break my run quickly enough and so I fell into it. Strangely enough I kept falling and falling. As I fell verses from the Bible started rolling before my eyes, and I could read them. Romans 12 1820 Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him, if he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. 1 John 3:15. Anyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in him. 1 John 4:20. 20 
Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister, whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. Hebrews 12:14. Make every effort to live at peace with everyone. 1 Thessalonians 5:15. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is. 1 Peter 3:9-11. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. I felt so guilty. As a Christian I had fallen short of all those requirements of the Word of God. I had paid back evil with evil, and not made the effort to live at peace with people as I normally dealt with people as I thought they deserved. I began to pray for God to forgive me as I realized that this hole I was falling into was bottomless. But I kept falling as my fear worse. Have mercy upon me, O oh God, I cried. I began to make promises to live at peace with people if God forgave me and saved me. As I kept falling I saw what I thought was the bottom of the pit, filled with all the horrible things I dreaded in my life. Just as I was about to land in the midst of these things I awoke. What a dream! I began to scream for my mum and my siblings to tell them that I loved them, that I would never fight with them again, etc. etc. But I had lost my voice, hoarse from all the screaming in my dream. I had learned my lesson. People matter. Even the people we see whom we do not know or who do not know us. They are important to us. It is a privilege for us to have family, friends, co-tenants, and neighbors. Let us treasure everyone we come across for without them we are doomed. Remember this story any time you catch yourself feeling too important, so angry and bitter or looking down on others. When you get the power or opportunity to finish your enemies or to exact vengeance on them, remember this story.